Honey, I'm pregnant. What? I'm pregnant, as in baby, B-A-B-Y. B-A-B-Y? Baby. There's no. going to be a baby. We're having a baby? Yes! All right! All right! Come on, how could you miss that pass? Let's go. Where's down? Go. You did it. I did it. Yeah, you did it. I wish they'd do it. I'm pregnant. You're pregnant. You're preg. I did it! <laughs> You're pregnant, right? Yes. Uh, me too. You too. Honey, I'm pregnant too. Honey, I'm pregnant too. I'm going through changes just like you. May sound crazy, but I swear it. In this video, we're going to try to answer some of those questions and share some of the feelings and experiences of fatherhood about sex. Sex. You know how foreplay, you, you're supposed to have this foreplay. It's, see, to us, it's really to see who wins the wrestling match to see who's on top. <laughs> we can't. I went out all the time now. It's just... You know, and I'd have to be there during this ovulation period to, to make sure that we had give it our uh, best shot. I said, just come on, come on, we have to do this. Don't even kiss me. Actually, in my opinion, a pregnant woman's very attractive. They get a very nice glow about them, and, uh, and especially towards the end of the pregnancy, their temperament gets real mild, and they're just, they're beautiful ladies. I mean, I don't actually vomit or get sick, but I get the dry heaves where I wish I would just go ahead and throw up. Morning sickness, that is, that is probably the number one complaint that mothers and fathers have. Number two is sex. Man, I went nuts. He yelled real big and picked me up and screamed and hollered. And, he and so she wakes me up one morning and you're going to kill me. Yeah, I was totally alienated in my feelings. I knew I was... I had emotions of fear of, you know, I tended to be what I considered irresponsible uh, to a certain degree. And he said, come on, you're supposed to be from Brooklyn. Get in here and cut the cord, you know, and I went, oh, okay. And the emotions are the hard part to keep up with because you've got your emotions and she's got hers and they usually don't jive. Yeah, well, if we're lucky, she'll have the baby here in about three or four hours, probably the earliest, of course. At this point, minutes seem like hours anyway, so... Just, just waiting and not knowing. Yeah, I'm pretty exhausted. <clears throat> I guess my stomach's kind of in knots, too. Couldn't eat lunch, so I ate a little bit. I can always eat fried chicken. <laughs> just, just a lot of waiting. It's the doldrums now, it's just the waiting. No one that I could take. It could take till the middle of the night, realistically. Just, just waiting and not knowing. Mr. Please, please stop. Mr. Please. <laughs>